by the end of this video, you will see extreme athletes accomplish some amazing things and understand the dangers of extreme sports. What up, YouTube? Another reaction slash breakdown video here is what it takes to be an extreme sportsman. This is an exclusive video. Like, hit the like button. Comment below. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm a literary. I'm, I'm an idiot. All right. Comment below. Comment below. Let me know. Subscribe. Join the family. Let's get to the video before I say more words that don't post to be there. We're about to break one of the hardest world records ever done. Ready? Three, two, one. That's it. We've broken many world records before, but this is our most dangerous. Everybody knows that extreme sports come with great risk. That moment, it's not about breaking records anymore. That moment, it's all about survival. But there's so much struggle that the public never gets to see. So we want to show you exactly what it is that makes these stunts possible. Every stunt in this video the is performed by a professional side. athlete with medics on standby. Please do not attempt to recreate anything shown on screen. This is us five years ago breaking a world record for the most amount of flips done on a garden trampoline. Yes! And as you can see, this clearly isn't an Ain't Olympic no level super trampoline, which is what makes this record so impressive. Ever since we set this world record, we've wanted to one up it, but something has always prevented us. Now, in the years following this, we've been surrounded by many extreme sports athletes, and whenever any of them are going for a new world record, we notice the same three things standing in their way their fear, getting injured, and not being able to pass their physical limits. And what we quickly realized is that these are the same things holding us back from breaking our record. So to overcome these obstacles, we've decided to seek advice from three world famous extreme sports athletes. Now, an obvious thing that's standing in our way is me getting into before we can even attempt the record. So we're going to speak to Travis Pastrana. Travis is a legend in the extreme sports community, having made history in almost every category. He's more like this crazy fictional character that actually exists. But with this many records, you've broken nearly every bone in your body, haven't you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite a few. Luckily, you got a lot of bones in your body, but they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, so. <laughs> so we're trying to break the most amount of flips ever done on a garden trampoline, and we want to avoid getting injured in any way possible. Hell yeah. Could you tell us a story about you getting injured trying to break a world record just so we can, you know, try and avoid <laughs> anything like this happening? Yeah. Well, the interesting thing is a lot of times you kind of get hurt in practice before the world record happens. So I was doing a, a trick where I was trying to do a backflip and I wanted to just touch the front tire as it's coming around mid-jump and then front flip out of that. Oh, that's terrifying. So I broke my hand in practice just to the airbag. Yeah, I broke my hand. And I was like, I really want to prove that it can be done, but I have a broken hand. So I ended up not taking this to dirt, which was disappointing, but I was like, I have to prove that it can be done. Sometimes you're warming up and you, you mess up on something that should have been more routine, but your brain is over here on this world's first. All your friends are there, all the cameras are there. You've spent every last dime and you, you need this to work right now. Yes. But I think now you have a lot more opportunity and like even just the trampolines you guys are working with now are, are so much better, which is why this stunt that you're doing is, is really cool for me because you're taking something that anyone can get access to and being like, all right, you can do two. <laughs> Watch this. What it sounds like is that we need to get a better trampoline. I think so. Can't wait to see it, guys. Good luck. And that's exactly what we did. Introducing the Acon X. This trampoline perfectly suits our needs. It has the sturdiest frame. It barely moves. They've got stable corners to stand on so you can wait your turn to jump. Got a super safe net which you literally can't fall out of. There are no gaps. It even has thick pads and skirting so your feet don't slip through into the springs. But the most important feature for us is how high this trampoline sits off the ground, making it almost impossible to hit the floor. Thank you so much to Acom for sponsoring this video and making this project possible. Yeah, go. Quite a bit harder than when did they start making super trampolines, brother? This is not a regular trampoline. That ain't regular money. I already know. I already know. You gotta afford it. Okay, so we've been sessing for like a few hours now. We haven't really got any good attempts in so far. Ernest, how you feeling? It just feels like I'm gonna hit the ground. Ernest is quite scared to hit the ground because that happened a few years back. That was one of the scariest moments of my entire life. Oh, I've gone down so hard. I can't feel my leg. 
I don't want to put myself in that situation again. So we have to solve that problem. I you can feel his leg, brother. I think it's the perfect time right now to go talking to Ryan. Ryan Bean is a legend in the extreme sports community, being known as one of the best freestyle athletes among multiple sports. So I want to ask you, being somebody who jumps off like 100 foot cliffs regularly, do you have any stories of times where you've had mass amounts of fear and you've managed to get over it? Yeah, so back a few years ago, there's this super sketchy spot because it's a little puddle and a 20 foot gap from the top. And I wanted to quad gainer it, but I was up there and I was shit bricks up there and I was just so scared and you can't mess up. The calculations have to be perfect, but eventually I just pictured it in my head, made sure nothing could go wrong, threw some rocks, did some calculations in my head and then three, two, I've been able to, over the years, kind of just make my way into being more and more fearless. And I think that's just because so many times I've been able to just visualize exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, the power of the mind and visualizing is... It's crazy. You're completely right. This one's just really getting to me. It's so hard to see something that has never been done. You have to visualize. See what you want and go get it. Go get it before just play out in my head. Ernest, dude, with all due respect, you have nothing to be scared about. Just take my advice and just keep visualizing that trick over and over again. And sometimes you just gotta really feel it out and wait till you get that good feeling in your heart that it's right. And you just gotta go for it and trust your instincts. I know you got this. You should know you got this. It's just gonna be light work for you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah. I'll give a sense. I won't. So the whole point of today was literally to try and see if the trick was possible and I think we know it is. <laughs> I don't know if Ernest is too happy about it because he obviously is in a bit of pain. We've got two weeks for him to rest up now to the actual event and uh, we know it's possible so we're all good. because that was like nothing. Yep. Look, I'm quite a bit harder than that. Three, two, one. Oh my God. There we go. Oh my there we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a couple of one fives and then see where that goes. Yeah. Nope. It's so weird, I hit hard, but I still travel back. It's ridiculous. I felt like I, yeah, it's, there was, in my head, it's in my head, it's in my head. Like, I actually am really scared of, like, that dicks. Like, that that's freaked me out last time a little bit. You were this freaking close. Yeah, I know, I just, I had it. I don't feel the same as I did when we necked it. Like, it just, yeah. doesn't feel the same. I mean, I think we call it today, I just come back tomorrow. I don't, I don't know, I really can't bring myself to keep going today. So you have that call with Brian? Shot. Seven time X Games gold medalist. He's an absolute action sports superhero, Ryan Williams. So, Ryan, yeah, I'm sure you've been in a similar situation to where Ernest is feeling now. You just want to get it done, but you got to push through. Could you tell us about a time where you might have been in a similar situation? Mate, I've felt like that plenty of times. An example is probably the most technical trick I've ever done on BMX. It was where I do a backflip and the BMX does a front flip at the same time. But this trick I had dreamt of doing for over five years and it would come so close. Like after the first try, I thought the second try was gonna be it. After the 30th try, I thought the 31st try 
try was going to be it. After the thousandth try, I thought the thousand and one try was going to be it. You know, you always just have to believe in yourself that much that you believe you can do something that someone's never done before. It takes a special moment to do it. It takes a special day. Sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it does. And that's when you achieve greatness. I believe you got it. Oh, thank you so much, mate. Thank you so much. <laughs> you got to believe in yourself more than I believe in you, though. That's the key. In Australia, we like to say, maybe drink a cup of concrete and harden the f*** up. No, that's true. I've got, I got to slap some sense into it. Yeah. No, I appreciate that, mate. Go get it. A cup of concrete. For some silly reason, I feel comfortable okay. just going. Up. Do you reckon? Okay. Yeah. Going for it right now? Yeah, like, if we get the placement. If we get the placement, why not? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh my god, it's fucking terrifying. Just send it. Let's go! Get some hype in. Come on, Ernest! Come on, Ernest. This is it. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, that means the next one is going to be it, though. insane hit the like button comment below if you're still here subscribe join the fam to the next video i'm out peace